Hello everyone, thanks for joining us here for Showcase Concert number two. You are tuned into the WPG Virtual Tour 2021. Today is Sunday the 24th of October and I really hope that you had a chance to check out the Showcase Concert yesterday. Um, today is going to be no different, we've got some amazing percussive artistry on display. So really looking forward to showcasing some of this young talent. We've got music all the way from Debussy right the way through to Zivkovich and we're going to start with our very own Japanese percussionist Nozomi Hiwatashi. She has done a fine arrangement of the Dr. Gradus Ad Parnassum by Debussy for solo marimba, so over to Nozomi. Wow, some fantastic playing there and an equally strong arrangement. So congratulations to uh, you, Nozomi, for that performance. So we're going to swiftly move on now to um, the UK, featuring British percussionist Isaac Harari. Um, Isaac's had a real passion for the music of Avishai Cohen, and he has um, been arranging two of his pieces, Chutzpan and Pinzin Kinzin, and has come up with his own version for marimba style and a few extra percussion bits and bobs. This is um, Variations on Two Themes by Avishai Cohen, arranged by Isaac Harari for solo marimba. Thank you. 
Thank you, Isaac, for that performance. Um, now we're going to be featuring something completely different. Um, we're taking a 180 and we're going to be performing Corporel by Vinko Globokar. And this is performed by none other than Nozomi Hiwatashi again. And she is going to be giving a very intense um, exploration on sort of sounds using the human body, but also a very strong uh, emotional message as well. So this is Corporel by Vinko Globokar.
私は最近こういう話を聞きました我々人間の歴史というものは同じことの永遠たる繰り返しであるということだがしかし私たちはこの説を覆さなければならない Wow, it doesn't get much higher than that on the intensometer. Um, well done, Nozomi. And now we're going to be moving over to something completely different again, featuring our Israeli percussion duo, the Balagan duo. And they're going to be performing a piece called Metamorphosis by Avner Hanani. The piece initially um, written for their teacher, actually, Tomi Yariv, part of the Israeli Perkadu. And this piece very much explores the minimalistic effects that can be created on two vibraphones and with a, a layering technique of glockenspiels, crotals and um, metal pipes as well. You can really hear the sort of polyphonic nature of the piece and two parts interacting together to create unified melodies and supporting accompaniments as well. So really hope that you enjoy this one. This is Metamorphosis by Avner Hanani.
Thank you guys for that wonderful um, rendition of Metamorphosis. It's no easy feat that just controlling the um, different textures from the instruments and you get so many different inflections and attacks from, from those. So navigating around the keyboard and, and trying to keep those all controlled is no easy thing. So um, congratulations there. Moving over now, we're going to move to American percussionist Ashley Ridenour and she is going to perform um, a piece which is a, a popular classic within the percussion repertoire. It's part of the Eight Pieces for Timpani by Elliot Carter and Ashley's going to be performing Canaries. Thank you so much for that, Ashley. It's great to hear the timpani in the solo environment, which we don't hear too much um, these days. So uh, thank you for that performance. And now we're going to be moving over to uh, the UK again to feature Toriel Azzolini Machiclair and Isaac Harari. They're going to be performing um, a very intense marimba duo called Ultimatum 2. This is written by Nibojša Jovan Zivkovic and has a lot of Balkan influences. Um, Nibojša is a Serbian and uh, you can really hear those influences in this um, piece of music. So I hope you enjoy this one. This is Ultimatum 2 by Zivkovic and it's performed by Toril and Isaac.
Wow, thank you guys. Uh, really energetic performance there. Um, we're going to move over now to um, Estonia for our Estonian percussionist Tanel Iko Novikov. And Tanel is um, a really passionate arranger. Again, we've got a lot of arrangers in the WPG this year, which is fabulous. Um, but he's got a real passion for Beethoven and has been um, working on several versions of uh, a variety of piano sonatas and adapting them for marimba solos. And he played this particular arrangement in the Masterclass the other day and it, it was mind-blowing. So I've asked him to put that in today's concert. Um, this is his very own arrangement of Beethoven's Piano Sonata Number no. 17, The Tempest, and you're listening to Movement 3.
Wow, um, nothing to say on that one. Simply stunning. Congratulations, Tanel, for that. Um, I know you're going to go very far in your mission and quest to arrange more marimba literature. And we're going to move on now to something equally as impressive. Um, this is featuring Venezuelan percussionist Jose Uzgategui. And he's going to be performing uh, one study, one summary, which is a piece for um, multi percussion, uh, a bedrock of marimba work with a, a ton of percussion instruments around it. This one is written by John Pasathas. And we actually caught up with John. Um, last week in an interview so uh, do stay tuned um, for that interview it will be out next week and uh, you can watch the hour-long interview there it's uh, amazing to get his concepts and ideas on on composition so without further ado this is one study one summary by John Sathas
Thank you, Jose, for that uh, that performance there. Some real uh, technical wizardry happening and a very musical performance as well. Um, so congratulations. And I know John wanted to pass on his congratulations to you for that performance. Um, and if you're interested in John Pasathas's music, um, we're actually going to be performing a virtual um, version of his Coolish Zion, which is part of a larger scale work called Her Alchemy Number no. 1. Um, and that will be performed next week, so do check our showcase concerts next week, 8.30 um, UTC time in the evening um, on YouTube and Facebook as always. And now we're going to move over to Taiwan to feature our Taiwanese artist Ting Ni Li. Now she is um, going to be performing a piece called Proteus by Jesus Torres. And this is really an exploration into tonal sounds and colours um, around a, a large scale percussion um, setup. Also using um, a great mix of, of hands to get the different textures and voice as well. So it's a really interesting um, concept happening. Uh, so this is Proteus, performed by Ting Ni Li by Jesus Torres.
Fantastic. Thank you so much, Ting Ni Li. Um, uh, as amazing as ever on that uh, performance of Proteus. So finally, um, sadly, this comes to our last performance and it's going to be featuring UK artist Elliot Gaston Ross. Elliot is currently studying in Linz and he's going to be performing a piece called Chopstakovic, which is written by Jess Sieff. And this is a really interesting fusion of American style rudimentary drumming and orchestral um, backing um, by Shostakovich. So it's a, a really interesting um, amalgamation of the two ideas and techniques together. So uh, I really hope that you like this uh, really action-packed, energetic finish to tonight's concert. So thank you all for joining us. Um, we will be back same time, same place next Saturday and Sunday. So please do check out the Facebook page and YouTube, like and subscribe to keep up with all the updates. And please do join in any of the masterclasses as some of which next week are as ever live and some are pre-recorded as well. So thanks so much and we'll see you soon.